Hello everyone and welcome to our worship today. Um, I hope you've been enjoying what we've been doing and today I'm going to tell you another story from our Lion Storyteller Bible. You can also find um, this story from the Bible in the Gospel of Luke beginning at chapter 5. Um, so you may be able to do that via your Bible. We use these in school, our Bibles that the church buys us. Um, in case stage two, or you may be able to go on your iPad and go on Bible Gateway to be able to reread. Um, I'm going to read you this story today, and today we're thinking about a group of friends that help somebody to see Jesus when they think that there's so many crowds that they'll not get anywhere near him. They find a really interesting way to um, get their friend to Jesus. But I want you to listen really, really carefully. Because at first glance, this is a story about teamwork, about Jesus' love, about trusting in God. But actually, we're going to think a little bit care really carefully about what Jesus actually does and says to, um, to this man in this story. So I'm going to read it. And the story is, begins, it says, it's called Down Through the Roof. And there we can see a picture. And you'll heard this story before, I'm sure, in school of Jesus and lots of people and a man looks like on a stretcher um, being lowered down on some ropes. So let's have a see at what happens in this story. So, Anna's stuck a finger through the hole in her skirt. How did that get there, she wondered. She would have run to her mum to have mended it, but her mum was on the other side of the house and the house was full, packed full, jammed full, chock-a-block full. Why? Because Jesus was visiting. The old man and woman standing in front of Anna shifted and she squeezed in between them so she could see better now. She looked and she could see Jesus. He was a lot like her father. They both taught people about God. They both prayed beautiful prayers. But Jesus could do something else, something her father had never done. Jesus could make sick people well. So no wonder the whole town had crowded into this house. Suddenly, something dropped on Anna's head. Anna looked up. There was a hole, a hole in the roof. Anna stepped back. The hole got bigger. The crowd stepped back. And the hole got bigger still. What's going on up there? shouted Anna's father. And instead of an answer, a man dropped through the hole. A man lying on a mat with a rope at each corner. A poor sick man who couldn't even move. His friends had lowered him carefully onto the floor and Jesus gently lay his hand on his head. My friend, Jesus said, the wrong things that you have done are now forgiven. Wait a minute, growled Anna's father. Wait a minute. Only God can take away somebody's sin. Just who do you think you are? Oh dear, thought Anna. Her father often got angry when he talked with people about God. But Jesus wasn't angry at all. What is easier he said calmly, to forgive a lame man's sins or to make him walk. It was all Anna could do wasn't to not giggle. What a silly question, she thought. One is just as hard as the other. Well, Jesus continued, to show you that God has given me the power to fix what is wrong in this man's heart, I shall fix what is wrong with his legs. Stand up, Jesus ordered the man, you can do it. And the man did. What is more, he rolled up his mat, he slung it over his shoulder and he walked out through the front door. His friends climbed down from the roof to join him. The crowd followed behind him cheering. And Anna stood back and stared up through the hole, amazed. So that was a story based on the Bible. In the Bible, we don't actually know the people's names, but I hope you enjoyed that today. 
I want you to just have a think about what Jesus actually said to the man and then what the what the man of the house, the Pharisee, said to Jesus because nobody could quite believe that what Jesus was saying, some of the people didn't like what he was saying and Jesus performed that miracle to, for what reason I wonder? I think the Pharisee mentioned the words, sins are forgiven, so maybe you could have a talk about that if you're in the, in the upper classes. Um, maybe if you want to watch um, a YouTube clip of what I've just read, there are lots of different cartoon clips and you might want to draw a picture of what I've read or, draw, or, make, or write a story or maybe even a play script. So I look forward to um, seeing all that you do on Twitter maybe and I look forward to responding and I'll see you next week.